hello everyone welcome to onyx earth tarot everything you need to know about me is in the description box below so today we're going to be looking at love messages from your person but we're going to do it in this way so first part of your reading is going to be messages from this person their thoughts feelings such and then we're going to turn around and pull from additional decks so that we can get messages from spirit regarding the connection. That way you get this person's perspective, but they don't dominate the reading. You can basically get a higher perspective from spirit as in like what's best for you, what's best for the connection versus this person's opinion, right? Um, I think that's best. So I do have the cards laid out already. But I'm feeling called to switch it up slightly and allowing you to select from not only crystals and numbers of pile, but I think I'm going to pull additional cards. So like I'm going to pull a card and since I have the spirit De La Lune closest to me, I'm going to use that card, which is already the top of the stacks. And I'm going to pull one from each, like a card each, that way... You can use that card and its meaning to help you select a pile because I feel like some of you may need that or spirit just wants that to happen. We're rolling with it. So I'm shuffling and I'm just going to take them in order. So the first one that jumped out is New Beginnings, which is ironic for pile one. Um, <laughs> let's see what pile two has. Yeah, because that is the number one card. It is the New Moon card. And it's new beginnings. And then, okay, number two gets the threshold card, which is um, the solar eclipse. And then we're going to see what pile three gets. And that way you can have all of these options to see what's going on. And number three is gratitude. Now, I did these readings already. So <laughs> these cards that came out just now are um very interesting. Um, and you'll see, unfortunately, because I did the readings already, um, like those cards won't be like in each pile. But I'm going to put it in the um, description box that these cards came out. But I'm going to leave them for a second because... Um, that's very interesting. So now you know, I mean, I don't know how other readers do it. I don't know what your thoughts of me are, but if you um, watch my readings, you never get to see me shuffle. So like sometimes I wonder if people think I'm just like making stuff up. <laughs> but if you, um, when you see the readings, these cards won't be there because I already did it, um, which is kind of unfortunate, but at least it's kind of proof that like the cards do just happen like that because these cards coming out for each pile that it did based on my memory I feel like it's interesting and don't don't pick your piles based on um I don't know how many of you actually watch these intros but don't pick your piles based on like what you think I'm gonna say like pick the pile that actually calls you because then it's not gonna resonate and then you're gonna get mad at me <laughs> so so just pick your right pile or it's sometimes it happens to where you don't have one. That's okay too. Um, but again, we always do this one, two, three from left to right, new beginnings, threshold, gratitude. If you need more time, just take a second and pause the video. Okay, pal one. So we're going to first do love messages from your person and just any messages that they want to come through. And then after we finish with this group, um, I'm going to shuffle some other cards and lay them out so that we can just get some messages from spirit regarding the connection. Okay. Um, I think that's a good format just because we can get messages from that person, see how that person's thinking, feeling, whatever they want to share. And then we can get a take from a higher perspective, obviously spirit. So I'm going to look at these cards that I have and I will say that energy coming in first is that um, this person that you, you intended this reading to be from 
the love messages, that person is working on something. This is very much the energy of someone that's working on something, okay? Really busy energy. So, um, like just taking care of business. And this person realizes that you're taking this personally, okay? They realize that. And they want you to know that for now, just for now, that is where their attention needs to be, okay? So, them focusing on the things that they're focusing on right now are going to benefit the connection long term, okay? So the first cards you have are, um, you have intention, slanted right, which is concluding, finalizing, um, outgoing energy, right, in terms of intention. And then you have modified, slanted left, which is incoming, a more initiating energy, from the modifying perspective. So if you if you can see how these two kind of meet in the middle, you can see how they're facing each other and like this person's already set their intention. They've made it very clear what their plans are to be with you, their plans for life, career, just whatever intentions have needed to be set, they've been set very clearly, right? Now, somewhere in action in executing these plans, executing this intention, things began to waver a little bit, right? So like once things began to take form, your person realized that they needed to, to make some adjustments in their approach. That's why you have that modifying energy incoming, right? It's just now they have to take a different approach than they originally expected. But everything is fine, okay? Everything is fine and everything is on course for you too. And I see that you don't see that, obviously, you wouldn't be clicking this type of reading if you felt things were fine, but this person can sense it as well because the card that you have in the middle, I'm not sure if you can see the light, it's funny, but I like to use natural light. Um, the card in the middle is, it's all good at that top row. So that is a direct message from this person. And it's very important to this person that you realize that because like it's, the messages coming in are like, um, this person wants to say to you, um, I know what your perceptions are, right? Because you have perception following it's all good. So it's, it's all good perception and then anger. And this person's like, I know what your perception is. I know how you're taking, how distant I've been. I know what it looks like. I know that it seems I'm distancing myself from you. And I know it's making you angry. Like this person knows that it's making you angry, but that's just, I'm feeling like it, it could be for multiple reasons here. Yeah, so the perception card is like, this is why it's the multiple reasons. So like, you're angry because they're distancing themselves for whatever they're working on, but you're also angry because um, they may be distancing themselves from you when you um, become slightly aggressive or actively aggressive, just depends. Um, they're distancing themselves for at least two reasons, some of you. Um, because this perception card shows you over analyzing things, like everything that they do and say. And um, it appears that you're constantly reacting, overreacting to them, right? To everything that they do. So with the perception card in the middle of it's all good and on one side and anger on the other, it's like um, you're either really happy or really upset as a result of whatever they say, do or don't do. And with that modify card and emotional withdrawal, they want you to calm down, right? With it's all good in front of the perception, instead of at the end, they're, it's almost like this person saying they know they have to be the stabilizing energy in this connection right now. Like, you don't like how the situation is and you're going to be upset about it regardless um, but they know up front, which is why it's first, that everything is fine. So they'll just let you feel how you need to feel and just work through your emotions. Okay. Like the person's even like the message I'm hearing come through is like the person saying, notice I give you your space when you get upset. That's how they're reacting to you. So that's this person's approach to you when you get upset. Okay, but again, at the center, you have it's all good. So 
like it's not like they're trying to leave you alone they're trying to like distance themselves from you romantically they're just um not going to engage you when you get angry um which is why you have that eight of cups card emotional withdrawal um yeah this person is all about maintaining their balance right maintaining their composure because if you um if you can see that perception card it has like the yin the yin yang symbol on it and um that power card is also like very stabilizing energy and they're not going to let you take them there when you get upset and again i know this is a love messages but this person kind of wants you to understand how they're responding to you as a result to how you're responding to them and how you how you feed off of one another because they have lots of love messages they want to share with you. They do want to communicate with you. It's just um, they know that sometimes when you go to 10, it's just best to, to give you your space. Um, and it just seems like they're distancing themselves more so because if you've gotten angry with them, well, they have to give you your space for that. But they were already a bit distanced because they're working on all of these other things. So you may not be in communication with this person. So it may seem like they're upset with you or that they're avoiding you, but really they gave you the space from whatever incident or fight you might've had or disagreement. And it just carried over because then they had to focus on their projects, their work, right? So that's, that's what this energy is. So, but the overall energy here is it's all good. And I'm hearing if this is a physical distance, because some of you, it's that distance from like maybe you, you took space from one another because, you know, there was an exchange or this person's working or whatever. But if there's a physical distance, generally, the person is trying to figure out how to reduce that, like how to come and visit you, how to come stay closer to you, something of that nature, how to get you to come see them, some type of way to bring you two closer physically. And... Um, some of them are thinking through what a, a living arrangement would look like between you two, because like, if you're going to be together long-term and you, you, it's a long distance relationship, at some point, you two are going to have to come together if you want to stay together. And this person's really thinking through that situation and what those circumstances would look like. That's why you have that thoughtfulness card as well. So like, it, that's another thing, like they're trying to figure out where to place you in their life and how they fit in yours. So Again, sounds like grown up energy, like as an adult, what do I want to do with this connection? Like if I'm going to be with this person, then we have to figure out how, and that's where this person is. And that's part of that distance. So some of you, this person has already found a place because you have that six of wands and that four of wands. That's the victory of and success card and foundation and achievements. Like somebody's putting money down on a house or an apartment, like someone's moving closer, especially with that eight of cups at the first part of that um, row. So someone moved or is moving very soon. You may hear that. Um, or even if it's like not moving, like cross state, cross country, cross world, it, it could just be um, like if, into your neighborhood or you two moving in together something like that um i'm definitely seeing that some of you it's not necessarily just a, a location change for like a house apartment or something it's those cards could also represent like a new job or a promotion that stabilizes your person's finances so like if that was an issue that that's what that energy is this person just focused on their achievements right now because again that's victory and success foundation and achievements followed by power like it just it just is what it is and that's why emotional withdrawal is at the beginning because in order to um later create a family with you which you know down the line that's what they would want they need a foundation for that. They need to be ready for that. And that's where they are. And they're hoping you're kind of focused on that too, because like that's where their head is, that you two are working towards building something long-term and su sustainable. Um, let's see what else. Yeah, they're really putting in the work for you two to live a comfortable life. I will say that. Um, and I'm hearing that this person feels very strongly that you need positive reinforcement. Maybe that's what some of the arguments are. Maybe this person isn't as um, affectionate with their words as you would like. But this person wants you to know that um, you are very beautiful to them. 
Like you, maybe you're the type that needs to be told daily that they find you beautiful. They want you to know that. Um, and they want you to know that you're beautiful even when you're angry, even when you're overthinking and overreacting. Um, they want you to know that your fiery personality and your mind because they're attracted to how you think, right? They That's what lured them in. Like They like your fiery personality and the way you think. And they understand that you overreacting sometimes you kind of getting a little bit upset sometimes that's more just the shadow aspect of those qualities that they really love about you and they're willing to work with and through it okay because the last card you have in this spread is happiness that's the goal with this person like that's what this is all about they're okay with a little bit of distance temporarily if that means that um later down the line you two will be more comfortable and happier with less burdens on the connection like if this person travels for work or something like that like they may take a temporary project somewhere um that'll take them away from you for months and then they come back um more financially stable it's worth it to them it's worth it that they had to spend three six months away from you if in the next year or two you two have a more stable home Okay, so that's where your person's head is. And um, they want you to work with them and just bear with them through whatever adjustments they have to make, right? Modify a card to make sure that you two are good because to them, the connection is fine. You know, it's all good. You two are good. It's just making sure you two have a good physical foundation, making sure that it's realistic physically for you two to be together, right? Because I see, uh, especially some of you with distance, like if you live like cross state lines from someone else, it's a lot if you two want to be together. Like just, this is just me talking as a person. Like it's a, it's just common sense. It's a lot. Like if that person needs to literally uproot their life or you need to uproot your life or you two going to do it and meet in the middle, it, it's, it's a lot physically to do that, financially to do that. So it just, it just takes time and, you know, that person feels like the more stable of you two and they they feel a little more mature a little more mature emotionally especially than you they might be a little older maybe not either way they seem to be a little more stable and understanding that this is going to take some work take some time and they just want you to realize that as well okay so i think what i'm gonna do now because i think i'm at a good place with this spread i'm gonna pull the other cards and then lay them on top and then we're gonna see what spirit has to say about the connection since we've already heard from your person give me one second okay messages from spirit and i am using all three of my um moon cycle astrology based decks so that's exciting um i just want to say that this is a really balanced person like your person, Pawan, is so in alignment with where this connection is meant to go. Like, I don't know if they're spiritual, but like they just feel very in alignment, like very much in alignment with spirit, whether they're whether or not that's a conscious thing. So because I think I think at the beginning I was like, this person is making adjustments yeah with modifying and stuff so i'm hearing that this is either a relationship you're attempting to start something new something you're refreshing like some next step type energy um like whatever the next chapter is for this relationship but like that card originally in the first pile spirit also says it's all good right because your first two cards are um, your commitment is being tested, which is the first quarter moon. You have nothing will come of this situation, which is the void of course moon. And that's basically saying that there's no problems here. Like everything is as it should be because... I mean, it's to the point, like it's direct. Your commitment is being tested. Nothing will come up to situation. Like it feels rocky now. It feels stagnant now. It feels like this person's avoiding you now, but that's not the case. Like it's just, you know, go through the motions. Like something needs to be adjusted. It's like a stagnant 
period before things open up for you to right so i just and that's very interesting because like the next card in that other deck is ignite which is also the first quarter moon which is why i said this is a new connection or a next era something of that nature um with those two first quarter moons it just it just feels like a new era right but that's also spirit saying that regardless of where you are in this connection it's just the beginning and everything is fine like it's too early in the game to be stressing like first quarter moon two times we're just getting the ball rolling and then at the bottom the last four cards i pulled for your messages from spirit you have the that is the heavenly bodies deck and in the middle you've got trine and water so you both may don't have to you may have major water placements cancer scorpio pisces even if not it just shows that your emotions and intuition would work very well with one another okay this person is very sensitive to your feelings even if it doesn't seem so okay like this is this is an easygoing person and i feel like i hinted on this in their energy when i was getting messages from them they are not going to argue with you period okay that's trine and water this person's very compassionate they're very empathetic towards you but if you are the type to start arguments for attention or entertainment you're not gonna it's not gonna work you're not getting that energy from this person that's what spirit says that's just not this person's nature that's not what they're about they honestly don't have time for it they don't because they, like i said they're really busy they're trying to build the future their legacy what they want to the imprint they want to leave on this world and they'd like you to be a part of it they they don't have time to argue for fun they don't um but spirit doesn't want you doing that anyway because you have the two cards on the ends which is this this is a very harmonious pile and i feel like ooh, i don't want to say it because i feel like y'all y'all are gonna get mad at me but i feel like some of the conflict here like most of the friction is coming from you <laughs> please don't get mad at me um <laughs> i feel like you're the one creating issues like this person's distant and maybe they could be a better communicator but i feel like i feel like you're the one kind of starting the drama and the arguments so stop um but again like i said um what what was the point i was making before i called y'all out Ooh, um <laughs> oh the point i was making okay so those two house cards like you have um the seventh house and the fifth house which both are like relationships and love and romance so that's a good energy especially with that harmonious trine and water flowing energy and the seventh house rules let's just start there the seventh house rules relationships right like contracts romantic connections it's more like the formal side of a relationship and the fifth house more rules romance like probably like just having fun probably sex you know like from a fun perspective um just the things you do in a relationship that make it enjoyable and with it just ooh, it sounds like spirit is hinting at like a beach date like just with that water and um that romance energy so that may be a hint for that but you spirit wants you to yes focus on the relationship and build it with that seventh house energy right but don't be so restrictive and controlling okay that's why you have trine and water in the middle that's a bridge between the seventh and the fifth house right so go with the flow and relax that's the energy that you should be letting flow between that energy if you're focused more on seventh house things which i believe that you may very well be that's probably why it feels like you're the aggressive one that may be a bit causing friction i'm not saying don't maintain your boundaries i'm not saying don't maintain your standards i'm saying if you want this specific connection like this specific connection with this specific person you have to tone it down and spirit is confirming that 
that's the case because it feels like you're focused on, like I said, seventh house is like the formalities of a relationship. It's the contract, it's marriage, it's the commitment, it's the label, the title, right? It's you know, being quote unquote claimed by that person formally in some way, whether it's just the boyfriend, girlfriend, 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 boyfriend, boyfriend title, they, them title, like it, whatever the title is for the connection, or if it's trying to be engaged, trying to get married, whatever that is, you've been focused more on that than the actual connection itself like those are things that bind, like that seventh house energy is what binds um you it, it binds the things you were doing in the fifth house like the fifth house is where you're dating you're having fun you're engaging with one another you're um socializing and um just having fun together seventh house is when you decide you like want to formally commit to only doing certain things with one another and obviously other houses, other energies play into that. But since we have these two cars, that's that's what we're talking about. Like spirit wants you to enjoy the connection, right? Tap into more of that fifth house energy. Those things, again, of fun, romance, joy, dating, enjoying being with this person, right? You're more focused on the title that comes with this person, um, the commitment from this person than actually enjoying being with them. Like you commit to someone because you enjoy being with them. You don't learn to enjoy being with someone after you commit to them. That's that's the opposite of how you how you do that. And um spirit wants to emphasize that that is where your focus has been misdirected. Okay, so maybe that's where the conflict is coming from. So overall message from spirit enjoy the connection have fun enjoy the journey it's only the first quarter it's way too soon to be focused on um the contract the marriage the engagement the label this is the part where you set the foundation of getting to that okay you're a bit ahead of yourself so that is all i have for you today pal one if this resonated please like comment and subscribe thanks for watching Okay, pile two, we're going to do love messages from your person, and then we're going to take a pause, get some other decks, and get messages from spirit regarding the connection. So, the, my energy is the way that it feels, like almost rushed, because I feel like your person is in a rush. Um, you didn't get that many cards pulled for this first part, and I feel like these messages are going to be relatively short because your person's very direct to the point, like they are on a mission. Um, so hopefully after this, when we pull from the other decks, Spirit can give more insight because obviously if we're going to get thoughts directly from what this person's um, messages are, it's just always better to clarify with Spirit so Spirit can give you the rundown on what actually is happening so <clears throat> your person is already in a mindset of believing that if you two can push through this period or whatever period you're trying to step out of that your relationship is set okay at the bottom the spread ends with it ends with endurance and luck and this person believes that, um, like I said, this connection is smooth sailing from here and the worst is behind you two, okay? And they've been doing lots of reflection regarding this connection. Now, a lot of you, this feels like an ex, someone you're in a rough patch with, um, regardless of if that's the case, because it could still be a new romantic connection, because again, there's a plethora of examples of connections this could be a new romantic connection with someone you have a history with the key theme for all of you in this pile here is that this is someone you have some sort of history with okay and they want to be with you and you know who you're asking about anyway because this is a very specific person that we're pulling messages from like you had this person in mind when you clicked if it doesn't resonate select another pile so this person for sure knows that they want to be with you. 
they're willing to fight for you. Um, they actually are feeling like it is necessary to fight for you. Um, this person, they miss you. They think about all of the good times often, especially with that Six of Cups. That is the Memories of Love card. Um, and whatever separation you two are in or were in, they're just really impressed with your glow up during that period. Whatever separation happened or is happening, like you, you kind of had a glow up during that period, um, especially with that self-love and strength card. So... And the way that they're slanted, they're both slanted, right? Like this is you like kind of finalizing this new era of glow up. Like this isn't a, like you didn't, you're not stepping into a glow up. You have already. Um, you're just kind of finalizing that energy, whether it's a physical glow up, whether it's a financial glow up, like it could be anything, but this person recognizes that. And um, they're really recognizing that you're a better version of yourself. OK, especially with that endurance card and the strength card, um, there's something you really pushed through and got the ex the success you've been seeking. And then combined with that destiny card, because the destiny card is the will of fortune card. And then you have luck. This person is really hoping that they'll get another shot at being with you. I feel like this person has had chances to be with you, whether it. Whether it um, actually happened or not, there, there's been chances um, for a lot of you. But they're hoping they get another one. And they'll feel so lucky if they do. Like this person sees you as a prize. It's feeling more like a good way and not in a possessive way. We'll clarify the energy. We'll see if it comes through. It just... It doesn't feel like it's a possessive way. It, it just feels like they see you as a prize with that luck and the will of fortune. Um, but they know that you're really focused on yourself right now. They're just hoping that you can forgive them for whatever past mistakes they've made and that you can have a fresh start, right? Because you've got um, lots of ones. You may be seeing repeating ones and zeros, like one, zero, one, zero, one, um, because you've got the one card, which is the movement into balance. You've got 10, destiny, will of fortune, and then you have zero, which is new beginnings. So um, definitely looking for a fresh start with you. Um, but that's it. It feels like they love you and they, they're going to fight for you. And I, and I know that that's really short, but I'm not getting much else from the messages from this person. Maybe they're not much of a talker, um, but they just, this person's coming in soon or more, more persistently if they're not, like if they've already made contact with you, like they don't have, like that's it. Like they love you. They're sorry. They're hoping you two can kind of move forward together. They're in pursuit. And that's so direct and so crazy that I'm really excited to see what the um what spirit has to say because like like I said we've gotten love messages from them but now we want to see what spirit has to say. Give me a second. All right, and we're back pal too. So <laughs> spirit had a lot to say. Lots of cards came out from the three decks that I chose and um it was very interesting because I think I might have said you might be seeing repeating ones and zeros. Well, um, I think that that is doubled down on by the fact that you have um, the 10th house and the house of one card. Like it's it says house one, but it's the first house card. So you got the 10th house at the start of that section and then the first house at the end. So that's just interesting because we were already talking about that. And... Um, I mean, it It says, like, I, it, it literally says what I said. This person's coming in hot and they're dedicated to the cause. There is um, very much heavy Virgo, Taurus, and Aries energy. Doesn't have to be, but you do have, um, you have the new moon in Virgo, which is a time to give rather than take, um, along with that Virgo card from that other deck. You have the Taurus card, which is the lover and the Spirit de la Lune, along with the new moon in Taurus, which is prosperity, prosperity lies ahead. But you've also got Venus, which rules Taurus, also Libra. But when it comes down to um, 
Aries, you've got that Aries card, which is um, a fiery climax approaches, but you've also got the first house, which is ruled by Aries. So lots, those three signs are very heavy to the point where I, I couldn't just not say it. So if you don't have that in your chart, your person doesn't have that in the charts, these are energies that are manifesting in the connection. So I want to say, because I was already thinking it, because you had um, underneath these, you have luck and then you have the will of fortune. Um, but like you and or this person has money coming in. A lot of you money's coming in via this person, probably because of the way that they're going to be pursuing you. But like you both have money coming in because um, you've got that 10th house, which is like success and career. But Venus and that Taurus energy is, is I mean, it's directly so money, especially since um, the new moon and Taurus card says prosperity lies ahead. So you've got two cards that, that are for Taurus and then you've got Venus. It's just money right especially via the 10th house so <clears throat> i just want to get that message out because we all like to hear when we're getting things right but this energy is very much this person coming in to woo you like expect that 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 should be an expectation because this person's going to um work their hardest to impress you they're going to lay it on really thick on how um, they've been focusing on self-improvement, working on their career, their finances, right? Especially with that Aries energy, lots of self-work. They're going to be making sure that you realize they've been doing that as well. Like they don't want you thinking you glowed up and they just stagnated. They want you to know that, hey, when we had this break or since I last saw you, um, I saw you've been doing well, but I want you to know that I've been doing well as, as well. Um, I want to say I did... Like what I meant, I think I mentioned possessive energy and how this person didn't have that. That's a lie. This person's very possessive, especially with this Aries Taurus combo. Uh, but I think it's because um, they're in a position now where they have to compete and apply effort for your affection. Okay. So that person had really short love messages but spirit really wants to share what's happening with the class so let me just give you spirits overall message and advice and then i'll jump to the gritty which is what this person's about to do because spirit really wants to um talk about that so when it comes to just messages for you and advice regarding this connection spirit wants you to know that yes it will take effort especially since there's a history, there's things to work through, rebuild. But you're being encouraged to try this thing out. Even if it doesn't work out long-term, there's still something to gain in your experiences with this person. Still some growth, some learning to do with one another. Okay, and Spirit also wants to point out that you are not over this person the way that you're pretending to be. So definitely um, take that as a sign that there's some unfinished business and because you two have the opportunity to come together it may work out if it does it's going to be great like the cards here if it works out between the two of you it is going to be amazing even if it doesn't you two are going to be better off when you leave each other than you were coming into the connection this time around if it's a repeat thing so that's a message from spirit now Here's the ready. Spirit is making sure that you realize how hot this person is coming in because um, all of their eggs are in your one basket. So if if there's been like some third party stuff, whether it's been them focusing on their career, them focusing on another person or people, whatever has happened to where you didn't feel that all of their eggs were in your basket, um, expect this person to be very solid and organized in their rapid and aggressive approach to pursue you okay like they're gonna try very hard to be romantic i'm not really getting yeah i mean this person has a romantic side but it's not like an emotional romantic side it's more like a um i mean i guess it's more like let me buy you things like it's more of a taurus thing it's not like touchy-feely it's oh, let's go on a date, I'm gonna like spoil you and that kind of thing. 
I don't know another way to describe it in this moment. So that's how we're rolling with it. But um, like I said, this, like a lot of you, this person feels like they have to spend money when it comes to you. Like they need you to know, like it's important that you know they're capable of spending money. Like, especially with all of the Taurus and Venus energy, it's, um, it's making me feel like um, a, a, a thing with security. Like maybe one or both of you have issues with security and it's important to this person that they show you that they are a very secure person financially or um, maybe you've expressed that it is very important for you to have a very secure partner. That's just a, a theme that's very important. This person's gonna spend a lot of money, whatever a lot of money is to you or them um, in their core team of you. So, and not just that, because that's not necessarily everybody in this pile. I do feel like it's a lot of you with the whole financial and the issues with security, but a lot of you, like just in general, whatever was missing in the past, Whatever insecurities you have in connections, romantic connections, whether with this person or another one, like it just feels like whatever needs forgiveness, whatever needs releasing, right? Because you have, um, what do you need to release, right? Whatever that is, this person's gonna double down tenfold. That's probably why you're seeing repeating ones and zeros um, on that energy. So, and I'm, the way, that what I'm saying, I don't want to leave that like that all vague. <laughs> when, when I say double down tenfold, it means like if in the past you haven't gotten enough attention from this person or another relationship, they're going to make sure you feel like they're an attentive lover. Um, if you feel like partners focus too much on work, they're going to try to find a balance. If you feel like... Um, like you you've been hidden like if you were in a secret relationship like then that person's gonna make sure they take you out in public often like whatever it is that you've been lacking like if you feel like maybe it is money maybe in your romantic connections you've been the giver maybe um you've never felt secure or supported you're gonna feel secure and supported in this new era with this person if you're open to it but spirit wants you to know that um this is going to be a very um prosperous time for you even if um you just briefly briefly attempt to um reignite whatever you two have it's going to be um an adventure like this person's going to want to do dates and like buy stuff just because they're trying to prove themselves um good or bad just depends on who you are and what you like um if it's too much for you then um, obviously you would communicate that. But Spirit just wants you to know that it is going to be a very aggressive, very direct um, courting because that's what this person sees it as. They're, uh, they're, gonna, they're like, how do I... Um, and I know that's a very old-fashioned word, but that's the best word to describe the way that this person's going to... Uh, this person's going to approach you next, okay? So you didn't get that many messages from them. But spirit spilled the tea. So that is all I have for you today, Powell 2. If this resonated, please like, comment, and subscribe. Thanks for watching. Okay, Powell 3, love messages from your person. So I'm going to get the messages from your person from the cards that I already have laid out. And then I'm going to cut and get some other cards from some other decks so that we can get some messages from spirit regarding the connection that way we have a good balance of like what this person wants to say feel think whatever their perception is um but also we get like a much more elevated perspective right a more honest one and one that will put you best on your path that you're supposed to take so this is very sweet pure energy from this pile um it's, it's, it's very, um, like a very spiritual connection. So it's like your person that you're asking about, like this person, they see you as a dream come true. 
Like that's the first energy I'm getting is heavy, heavy emphasis on dreams. Not just because of that dreams card. Like you have, um, like this is like, I'm feeling like dreams, spirituality, almost, I don't want to say illusions. Cause like people think of like lies and hidden things with the illusions. But when I say illusions, I mean like revealing hidden aspects of yourself like very much like a 12th house neptune pisces energy from this pile already um yeah and i'll just you'll you'll see as i talk about it if you're familiar with astrology how i'm getting that energy um as i describe what's coming through to me so um like this, like again, this person sees you as a dream come true. They never thought it'd be possible to meet someone like you. Um, at the top left, you have that incoming energy of the release card because it's slanted. Um, it's slanted left, so you have the incoming energy of release followed by grateful upright, and that is this person opening up to this connection more. Okay they were initially overwhelmed and feeling like you and this connection were too good to be true and now they're starting to realize that this is the real deal okay and they're really grateful to the universe for sending you to them they just really want you to know how grateful they are for you and to have you in their life okay so at at the top right you have home masculine energy unlimited possibilities i will say you don't have to be but there's a lot of masculines selecting this pile um but your person just they believe that you two can do and achieve anything together okay you two are adaptive enough to work through any situation as a unit Okay, so like the phrase, home is where the heart is. Okay, that's the phrase. This person feels at home with you and they're the most comfortable and stable when you are around. That's probably where this dream energy come from. Like probably all over the place and then you come in and ground them. Um, but this person really wants you to know that. Um, this person feels like you are heaven sent okay if you look at um that grateful card see how she's looking up at the sky again like prayer um you have that second row the triumph card which is chariot you've got sacrifice which is the hangman fulfillment of wishes which is the nine of cups and then wisdom which is the hierophant and this person literally prayed for you to come into their life like that is that is what it is um it's, it's, it's so much spiritual and religious energy here. Like, I'm glad that there's almost like that Hierophant stable foundation in terms of like, um, like, you know, spirituality, like religion would be the foundation, like the physical st stability. I'm glad that that energy is in this pile because it would be all over the place. It'd be so much like Neptune Pisces energy with nothing to ground you. That's the energy of this pile. And I think that's why um, you're feeling overwhelmed about by the connection, but that's okay. Um, I say you're feeling overwhelmed because I feel like you and this person is overwhelmed by the connection. Um, yeah so this person um again they're just so happy that that prayer for you or a person like you was answered and they feel so spoiled by the universe by having you in their life okay that nine of cups is like that ultimate fulfillment almost like in a greedy sense like they feel like they shouldn't even be allowed to have you that's that's what they that's what they want you to know that those are the messages that are coming through to you from this person that they don't feel like they deserve you they they feel like um they've gotten over by being able to have you um and they also want you to know that this is only the beginning between the two of you okay especially with um obviously the beginning card but you have unlimited possibilities. There's so much for you to, to explore together, especially relating to um, dreams and aspirations. So much they want to experience with you. 
Um, again, they probably literally dream about you as well. Again, 12th house, Pisces, Neptune, energy. So I'm just going to take this second to just jump right into shuffling for the other um, cards. Just see if I, there's something stabilizing this connection. Because, again, a lots of flowing love, indulgent energy. It's almost like some siren. You lured them in, they lured you in, and you two can't stay away from each other. Keep your hands off of each other. Um, the real world vanishes when you two are together. So I'm going to see what spirit has to say about the connection since we've gotten some messages from this person. Um, oh, and before I, before, I just want to say that I do feel like this is very much mutual. I feel like the things I'm telling you, um, this person, like the messages from this person are also messages you would give to that person back. So that's the vibe I'm getting. So just let me cut get the other cards from the decks and we're going to see what spirit has to say okay pile three and we're back with your messages from spirit so you got a lot of cards probably the most out of everyone but that makes sense because we talked about this being a very much um highly spiritual pile and yes so the first thing that came through, you have that Chiron card, which came out last, ironically enough, because I was already getting that energy from that Blue Moon Renewal and Scorpio, uh, the Shaman mix. So you heal this person, you two heal each other, okay? Again, this is a very deeply spiritual person and connection that you two share, and like, again, like that Scorpio Shaman card, it feels a lot like the Hierophant, right? Those are spiritual leaders. And then with that Blue Moon card, I'm feeling like this is like a rare occurrence for you two to be together. So whatever circumstances in which you two came together or are coming together, it's just a rare situation, like a rare chance at this type of love, okay? Now... Spirit wants you to know that this connection is not too good to be true. Like, it's not too good to be true. It's real. And it's hard. I know it's hard with all of this flowing dream Neptune energy, but it is a concrete connection, okay? The reason why I say that is that, you know, there's probably some doubts with on your end, their end, about this being too good to be true because you have um, that you are good enough card, which is the full moon in Virgo. Well, it also leads into um, show the world the real you, which is the full moon in Aquarius. And then you have have faith in your dreams, um, the waxing crescent moon. So like it's just saying like to be comfortable in this connection, be comfortable with who you are. Um, don't be afraid to be with this person. Like I don't know if maybe there's just a cultural difference or something because that whole show you show the world the real you feels like maybe there's something that um you would want to hide probably why there's heavy 12th house pisces neptune things like it's, it's good for you to get lost within one another privately but it's not something you're right really ready to explore openly and show the world spirit is saying that it is okay for that to happen okay and um yeah um Yes, this this very deeply spiritual religious connection. It, it's, it's sorry, yeah, like I'm getting wrapped up into the the flowing energy of it as well. That's why I'm all over the place. It's just um, that that's just the energy of this pile. But it's not bad. It's just it, it's just like almost like being on drugs. Like you know, like that high. I mean, I don't know personally, but again, like what people describe as like a high on like drugs. Or if you're drunk, like just that, that spiritual high of this connection is just heavy. Um, but I do want to say, um, oh, and by the way, yeah, that's lots more of Neptune energy come in because you have that Neptune card um, and you have that um, have faith in your dreams card, which... We have dreams all over the place in this pile. You probably can't see it again because I've thrown more cards on top. But this is just a very much a psychic connection. Okay? Just just a psychic connection. 
and that's why you two are bouncing everything off of one another why it's so scary because you're feeling this person that person's feeling you on top of your own feelings and the dominant energies of this pile i just want to go ahead and say outside of neptune and pisces is scorpio pluto because you have the eighth house and you have that renewal scorpio card but you also have virgo mercury and earth so heavy virgo energy here but just um it's just good that you have that earth energy grounding this connection anyway because that's what's gonna stabilize it and just make it bring it down to earth just make it less um illusion like less excessive fantasy who okay um i want to say that because of those eighth house and scorpio themes very sexual indulgent couple very transformative energy but again you're meant to heal so that's part of that transformation probably going to be healing via sex healing um just through the change that you experience together as a couple the changes and adjustments you have to make within the union i feel because it does feel like you two are very different and that's why you heal and transform one another This connection feels like spirit wants you to to get lost in each other. Like that's part of the process is merging of you two. And that's probably why there's so many heavy 12th and 8th house themes here. The heavy Pisces and Scorpio energy. Again, it's good you have that Earth and that Mercury here to create like a logical foundation. That Virgo energy here to stabilize the connection. But it it's fine like it's gonna work out like i don't want you to worry just because as much as this energy like the way that i'm describing it i feel like i'm describing it in a like unstable way like wow this energy is all over the place it is but i think a lot of it in this pile is fear on both sides like you and them like it's so intense like it's so um out of your control that it's like it scares you so like that's the energy that i'm getting in the pile like this unstable energy but if you would just take a breather you like you will realize that this is a really exceptional connection this is something that is rare with that blue moon card you're probably twin flames um if not that does not change how rare this connection is and if you two could just open it embrace it without um being excessive it, it's a very beautiful thing okay so that's spirits take spirits all in like just dive into it um the person again had very sweet love messages for you um i think that's all we have here i don't see any other messages coming in so we're gonna wrap it up now that is all i have for you pal number three if this resonated please like comment and subscribe thanks for watching